that boy Fetty Wap, man. They done gave that boy Fetty Wap six years in prison. Six years. News you can use. News you can use. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys tap in, man. Check out what we got going over here at Boss Talk 101. Make sure you guys uh, become members of our YouTube channel. Um, just quickly, want to talk about that boy Fetty Wap, man. They done gave that boy Fetty Wap six years in prison. Six years. Fetty Wap, man, he ain't doing nothing in a minute, but they're using old, old videos, all kind of stuff to sentence him. They gave him six years. He might get out in four to four years if he's good, four to five years, but at any rate, man, they got him. They got him dead to the left on this one. Um, man, I hate that. I hate to see anybody behind those bars, but they, they use some of his music, his rap music to convict him. This is something that you guys got to be careful about, man. Uh, man, that, that Trap Queen, that whole situation, they brought all that back up in court as well, saying that he was glamorizing drugs, all kind of stuff. So you got to be careful, man, when it comes down to what they'll say and what they'll do to get you convicted. I'm telling you right now, man, if you're a brother and you're a rapper, man, know that some of the things you're saying, and you can get with Boosie and all these other ones, and you'll see, they'll use this stuff against you as soon as you guys walk into that courtroom. So I'm telling you now, listen to me. They use stuff against you, man. Uh, when you say this stuff and it goes out on this, these internet waves, know that it can, it can and will be used against you. This is public information now that you put it out in this way. I'm telling you now, man. Fetty Wap having to sit down, man. Uh, yeah, I, I remember he was going with that girl. Uh, Alexis, Alexa, but I'm telling you now, man, that's over. He's going to have to figure out something else now because they're, they've sentenced him. He's got the time now to think about it, sit down and think about it. Uh, man, there's a bunch of bunch of rappers that they done locked up to. If you ain't dead, they locking you up. They doing, they doing rappers dirty as they can to try to make them stay... Um, under their control. They know that the economy and entrepreneurship is something they they, they, they know that these these artists can be a force to be reckoned with if they ever unify, if they ever understand the power of unity. Um, the boys, the big boys don't even try to bring them together because they trying to hold their bag together. All I'm telling you is, man, you listen to me and hear me good, man. Fetty Wap, Fetty Wap got, he got himself in a situation now, man. Um, Willie Jr., that's his name. I'm telling you now. Um, it, the prosecutor was ready to get him. They, they definitely was happy to get him. It was a big fish to them. I guarantee it. They brought everything they could up against this man to make sure that he understood that they were in total control of this whole situation, man. He got in trouble. It was in New York where he was sentenced at. So when you start to look at it, it says on Wednesday he appeared before the judge, Joanne Siebert, at the federal court in uh, Central Islip, New York. To receive a sentence of one year longer than the minimum. Uh, Mr. Maxwell waved to about 20 family members and friends who, attempt, who attended the sentencing and he entered the courtroom wearing a, a beige jumpsuit. His dreadlocks pulled back from his face. And his lawyer was Elizabeth. He had a woman lawyer, Macedon Macedonio. She argued, argued that Mr. Maxwell had been supporting many relatives and children. And they don't care nothing about that at this point. They don't care nothing about that at this point. All they want is a conviction. That prosecutor is not trying to hear none of that. All they want is conviction. Once they got you dead to the left, they take that and run with it. So all that trying to tell him, you know, uh, that we'll do better this next time and all that. They don't want to hear none of that. Christopher Caffarone, the prosecutor, Wednesday asked the judge to remember the, the, the collateral consequences of drug abuse and pointed out that many people suffered during the pandemic, but they didn't turn to peddling poison. Judge Siebert called the case one of the most difficult she has had to decide in 30 years on the bench. You believe that? You think she really had time? You think she really was tripping about it? Because I don't think so, man. Said noticing that Mr. Maxwell overcame obstacles to achieve unbelievable fame only to throw it away. Man, they glad they got this boy, man. They know that this boy right here is, that's, that's like getting, a, it's a trophy to those, to those guys. Once they get Lil, when they got Lil Wayne, when they got uh, uh, Ja Rule, when they got any of these guys, when they got Pimp C, when they got 
Scarface for child support. Anytime they get, they know they're getting a trophy when they when they got C Murder down there. They not tripping about none of that. They don't really care about this man's family like that. Or they, they, they all they don't care about he feeding, the, trying to help his family. They care about the fact of you a rapper, you had an opportunity and you blew it. So now we're gonna make you pay for that. And that's what they're saying. And I can guarantee you, I, I, hey. It's not going to be no easy win for him. He's going to have to either get in some kind of protective custody. Uh, better not be no snitch. They're going to have a paperwork party when he get there. Uh, yeah, yeah, but his crime, they said, was serious. And his actions while on bail raised serious questions, she said. You know, the thing you cannot escape is that there were other choices, she said. Uh, in March, one of Mr. Maxwell's co-defendants, Anthony Seath, a former New Jersey correction officer, was sentenced to six years for acting as a, a courier of cocaine. Maxwell remaining four co-defendants pleaded guilty and are awaiting sentences. So, like somebody might have flipped on him. Somebody might have turned up and flipped on him. We don't know. Something happened here. Somebody probably flipped on him. I'm telling you, man, because it, it, it's it's looking real crazy right here. But they they really they want the big fish. He done been to a few, uh, uh, you know. He's on Love and Hip Hop of Hollywood. Uh, yeah, Trap Queen. He had a song. He was the big fish in this. Y'all get in the comments and tell me y'all don't think he was a big fish and they were happy that they took a rapper off the streets. Just as they did AR Ab, any, any, any of these ones they can lock up. If you get caught with any situation, a gun, anything, they locking you up. And they're happy when you're when you're a big fish. If you're if they catch you wrong and you know you're gonna be out here right, uh, even when uh Remy Ma, even the females, anytime they catch you wrong, they gonna try to make an example out of you as a rapper or artist. That they they know you had an opportunity. They they know that they they know that it's a chance that you could have helped somebody, help more of your people. So they're gonna they're gonna use that against you. So be ready to be ready because they they not gonna play. New York not playing. You run around here thinking they play. Ain't nobody playing. So the prosecutors right now celebrate. This is a win. They got a conviction out of this. That's what you need to understand. That's the main thing. They got a conviction out of this. They're happy about it. I'm telling you right now, if you think they're not happy, go down to your local, uh, wherever the pizza place is, by the DA office in, in, in New York. Go over there. If you can ride, find where that DA is, you're going to see they're having a good time. And the judge, DA, and the, the lawyers that prosecute them probably all eating together. So when you think they with you, uh, 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 Fetty Wap, they not. So it's a game they playing. You a brother. They know that. I guarantee you in that courtroom you wasn't comfortable. Dreads, one of your eyes missing. You had an accident, you were successful. You had an opportunity and they feel like they won today. So man, hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping you in my prayers. I'm gonna try to reach out to you like I always do. All the guys who get locked up. I'm gonna try to find out how I can send some money, put it on your book. Shout out to Crip Mac. Um, I, shout out, I, I, I actually rocked out with him when he was locked up and a couple more people I can name, but I'm not going to do that. But I'm telling you, man, they're happy when they lock these people up who had an opportunity to do something to help all mankind, all of our culture. So listen, man, hey, man, let me get let me get out of it, man. News you can use, man. It's been another great segment, man. Hey, man, I think that's about it. Man.